talking to the man who scored both Altrincham goals, Damien Reeves. So, Damien, great performance today. I thought uh, all the way through the team, there's some fantastic individual performances. Leeson, it must be absolutely delighted. It was, because I think we've worked all week on the areas where we know we need to improve. And, and the way we've played, we've just sort of tweaked little bits and bobs, because I think... Where we've where we've lacked a little bit is obviously that we've been struggling as the balls have been coming into his box, so we've we've been working on stopping the crosses um, at source, and then obviously as we've got further up the pitch, and um, we've had plenty of possession, but it seemed to peter out a little bit before before we got head of steam up and before anything sort of happened from it. So uh, we've worked on that in the in the week, and um, as you can probably see from the game, we've sort of tried to get crosses into the box earlier which gives us more chance of uh, getting on the end of them. Ironically, yeah, we started a little bit nervously. Dover, uh, Dartford had a few good minutes, had a decent chance inside the first couple of minutes, and then we've lost Nicky Clee, which was a blow. But uh, James Laurie, from the word go, was right on his game today. Yeah, it was a good tactical substitution, wasn't it? Um, the first 10 minutes, I think we was, we was a little bit shaky, um, a little bit nervous, I think. And um, once, we, once we got the ball down and started playing it around... Um, we sort of got into a stride and, and and it sort of took off from there really. Um we we know how we want to play. Um and it's just a case of I think it's a confidence thing with a lot of players. Um as soon as they get full of confidence you see the, the game improve and, and it helps uh, the whole team, not just individuals. And um James Laurie came on um and I think it was one of his best games he's had um, for a long while and he was just positive as soon as he came on he got the ball out of his feet and he was positive going forward and I think then um, that sort of helped the rest of the team it, it gave us an extra five yards from the back further forward up the pitch um, which which then sort of set the rest of the, the game up and James had a three, at least three good uh, pots from a, a distance and the keeper Jason Brown has made some decent saves. A little bit fortunate with one that popped up and just uh, bounced over the uh, bar. And also Ryan Crowther, who's had a great game today, a superb effort. Yeah, I think that's another thing that we've, we've worked on because I think if you analyse the start of the season with the games that we've had, uh, we've had a lot of possession, but we've not really had many attempts on goal. Um, and that was one of the things that we've looked at um, sort of getting getting more shots on, on the goal. I mean, even if they are 18, 20 yards, it's just working the keeper. And I think today um, you could see that we have actually worked the keeper. All right, a couple of the shots have gone, gone ski with, gone over the bar, gone over the stand or wherever, but the intent's there. Um, and it just shows you sort of from uh, James's shot early doors, he's not hit it great, it's bobbled, but the keeper's had trouble with it and it's had to, it's gone over the bar and we've got a corner from it. And eventually the goal has uh, come. It's only the second time that we've scored in the first half this season. You scored against Bristol Rovers and that set us on the way to a 2-1 victory there. But uh, when it came, a uh, great delivery in, fine header by uh, Tom Marshall. And uh, you've picked up uh, the pieces from the keeper's save. It was. I mean, it was a good cross um, and it's it's a good header. But to be fair, the keeper's pulled off a great save. It was just unfortunate for him and fortunate for me that I was in the right place as it dropped. Um, which seems to be uh, one of the ongoing themes. I sort of get in the right position at the right time. But uh, but yeah, it was a good save in the first instance, but uh, you've got to be there to put it away. So we've opened the scoring in the dying minutes of the first half and then within a few minutes of the restart, it's 2-0. Uh, Again, Ryan Crowther involved. He's put a decent ball and I think it's got some sort of deflection fallen to you at the far post, but uh, you've rifled it into the roof of the net. Yeah, it was that was a good move. It, uh, it came fairly early on in the second half um, and I don't know why but as soon as Ryan got the ball um, because he does like when he plays on the left he does like to cut in on his right and I don't know why I just had a funny feeling that he was going to go down the outside um, and as he moved it to the left and he sort of fired it across um, I think it may, may have took a deflection of somebody's chin or whatever but uh, but yeah I ended up at the back post and, uh, and managed to, to stick it in. We were on fire at that stage, created further chances. And I've got to say a word about Carl Perry. I thought his, his overall play today was superb and his first touch was fantastic. Kyle is a good player. I think a lot of people give him stick um, unjustly every now and again because um, he's he's a different type of player to myself and, uh, and Gilly. But, uh, but at the same time, he does do a job. Um, and and when, he, when he has played this season... He has done a job and he, he, he's done what he's been put on to do or what he's he's been in the team to do. And again, today, um, 
he, he brought him in, the, the gaffer's brought him in and uh, every time the ball's gone up to him it's stuck um, and he's he's managed to find um, a pass or or a layoff that, that sort of, it's come to something and I think that's one of the things that, that's helped us in the game today because it's enabled us to be further up the pitch with the good possession. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I like Kyle and I think everybody at the club likes Kyle. So you'll not see me criticise anybody, any of our own players, but uh, but I do think he has a little bit of criticism that's unjust at times. But uh, But certainly when you put him in or when he starts, he does do the job that you're asking to do. The third goal didn't come and... Uh, th- Fair play to the Dartford manager. He's changed things around and thrown a few attacking substitutions on. And to be fair, it's worked quite well for them. And eventually they've scored a, a rather scrappy goal. I'm sure we're very disappointed not to have the clean sheet. Yeah, when you're tuning it up and you're going into the last 15, 10 minutes, you, you are looking sort of to keep the clean sheet. And I think we've got into that sort of final final third of the game and we've wanted to to keep the ball um, and, and obviously keep a clean sheet. But um, the... They played the well. They've managed to find the cross, and it's gone sort of floating towards the back post. And I think, just all around, if you if you look at the video um, and then analyse the goal, it's just a scruffy goal all around. I think he's it's sort of sneaked round the back post. It's just come off the side of his head, and then I don't know if it's hit Luca and gone in, and and Dave really hasn't got a chance. So yeah, it's a bit of a scruffy goal, which is I think the only disappointing thing from the game that we haven't kept the clean sheet. They didn't cre- create uh, too many uh, threats after that or chances, uh, but if they had got an equaliser, it would have been an absolute travesty. It would have been, but then again, you don't always get what you deserve in football. And I think there's been a couple of games this season when we've we've been beaten and, and we've not deserved to be. So it was our time today to, to actually get the win. Um, I'm not saying that they deserved anything from the game because I think we were the better team for the whole of the 90 minutes. But um, as you say it can get a ricochet, it can go in off somebody. So uh, we're just glad to get the three points and, and obviously look forward to Tuesday and hopefully get another three points. Uh, so there were plenty of really good performances across the pitch, but uh, one player who stood out for me, I thought perhaps he had his best game for Altrincham since he joined us, was Adam Griffin. Yeah, he um, he played well. And again, he's another player that... Uh, he, he's a confidence player as well. I think if, you're, if he's confident... Um, he he plays a lot better, and again today he's got the ball. He's not really wasted the ball, um, and his defending was spot on. So again, you can't criticise him for it. Um, he's he's gone forward and and he's put a couple of good balls into the box, and and there's, they've not really got past him. I think they had one one diagonal in the first half that sort of drifted over his head, but other than that, he's been rock solid all game. And on a personal note, five goals now in seven games, uh, which for you know a team that's in the bottom half of the table, you must be delighted with uh, your own personal return in terms of goal scoring. Yeah, I, I can't complain. I mean, it's it's always tough to score goals at whatever level you play at. So so when they do come, um, you do want to to sort of build on it, get more and um, five five goals. I think is it seven games we've played. So yeah, I, I can't be uh, I can't be downbeat with that, and I can't say that. Uh, I'm I'm unhappy with it, but um, it it doesn't mean anything if you don't get any points. So on a personal level, it's great, but on a team level, we still need to be get you know be picking up the points. So I'm happy if I'm scoring and the team's winning. If if I'm scoring and the team's losing, then it's it's not much. Uh, it's a bit of a sour sour note and a team team aspect. But uh, but yeah, again, it's um, a personal thing. I'm I'm happy with with the return that I've got at the start of the season and hopefully uh, they continue to come and uh, we have uh, a good return at the end of the season. It's not just goals, your overall performances I think have been pretty good and consistent since the start of the season and you've looked lively throughout. Yeah, I mean, we've we've gone up a level so each individual player has got to, got to play a little bit better, they've got to up the game slightly um, and I think you do get your rewards Um if it, I mean, wanted to use a, a saying that the the manager and the and Tulsa said uh, last week. I think it's true. If you the harder you work, the luckier you get. So, hopefully, um, working hard and and playing obviously playing well, um, you get your you get your rewards from it. 
That's Damien Reeves there scoring his uh, fourth and fifth goals for Altrincham this afternoon in the 2-1 victory over Dartford, which has uh, lifted Altrincham up to 18th position in the Vanarama Conference uh, table with our second victory of the season. Our next assignment is uh, in Derbyshire on Tuesday night when we take on Alfreton with a 7.45pm kickoff.